Hi everyone, it's me, Truth. Um, I am not usually a person who makes toy videos, or craft videos, or do-it-yourself videos. But, well, I'm here in my workshop today, and I thought I would show you how to make a toy that I sort of invented in high school. Basically, this invention came along one day when I was sitting in a computer repair class, which consisted of about four students. Uh, there were a few minutes when, like, the teacher was busy with something, we had some tools lying around, and I just happened to accidentally make this thing while messing around. Now, uh, this is an unbelievably simple toy. You can make it so easily yourself. The only thing you'll need is a screwdriver, um, Phillips or flathead, pretty much any kind will do. Just, you know, average size screwdriver. And you will also need... I just realized you're not going to be able to see this if I shoot this in my workshop. Okay, so I'm here in my studio today to show you this toy I invented. All you need is a screwdriver and a plastic bottle. Uh, you know, any average sized drink bottle will do. Um, generally this approximate size could be bigger. The only important things you'll need, the bottle will probably have to be plastic um, with a screw top, and it's going to need this little ring uh, under the cap, that kind of seal ring. I'm actually going to do this with a clear bottle because I think that'll make it easier to see. I tried to take the label off, but this brand gave me a really hard time removing the label. It's like really stuck on there obnoxiously. So you'll want to take off the cap and remove that little ring that's around the cap. If you can, you might need some serious fingernails for this. Alright, but it can be done. Alright, just remove that, set that off to the side, we're gonna need that later. And then, this is the only sort of difficult thing about making this toy. You need to pierce the cap of the bottle with your screwdriver. This might take a good amount of force, so you might need to like really put your weight into it. And you might think, okay, so you probably don't want to do this like on your desk where you shoot your YouTube videos. Um, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. Usually the uh, cap will sort of slow down your screwdriver enough that you're not just gonna like jam it through and gouge out your desk or whatever. All the same, I would probably advise you don't do this on like your fine dining room table or anything like that. Maybe you just like do this on the ground or some surface that you don't care about damaging, just in case. I don't think you're gonna damage it if you do this. Because it usually goes through there really slow. Even with a lot of force behind it. Like I said, yeah, you might need to like stand up and really put your weight into it. Oh! Okay, it went through a little faster than I thought it would, but okay, I don't think I damaged my desk. Now this is also kind of hard, you need to get it all the way through there. Like really get it like that, so that the cap is all the way to the end of your screwdriver. And like I said, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a screwdriver, you might use like, I don't know, an ice pick, maybe even a corkscrew, as long as it's a pretty straight piercing tool. And anyway, after that, let me set that to the side. Remember that ring we set aside? You're just gonna give that a little squeeze and put it into your drink bottle. And we're just about done. Now you just attach the cap with the screwdriver in it. And what do you know? It's all finished. Now what you have here is a little ring toss toy. The objective is just to hold that screwdriver handle and try to get the ring onto the screwdriver inside the bottle. I got it on my first try. As you can see, I am a master of this, having invented this toy back when I was in high school. But uh, for a beginner, you know, it might take you a few tries, you know, it might be a little difficult to do. Just a neat little thing you can make out of junk you have lying around your house and waste a few minutes and have fun.
Now once you've become a pro at it, you can add more rings, you know. Add a couple of different rings from multiple drink bottles, and see if you can get them both onto the screwdriver. A trick I had learned was to kind of get the rings into the end, and then flip them on like that. Hey, that's pretty good. Can you see that? I got it right onto the tip of the screwdriver. That's an impressive trick shot there. You might even go wild and try a 2 liter version. Oh yeah. The fun is never ending now. So anyway, give that a try. Let me know how much fun you have with it. And let me know what other kind of variations you can come up with. You should uh, follow me on Twitter and send me pictures or videos if you make one of these yourself. That would really make my day. <laughs> and you can also, you know, like this video, comment on it, um, subscribe if you want to see more videos that are nothing like this. <laughs> and yeah, have fun with your new toy that I invented. Here's a list of my Patreon supporters who probably didn't expect me to make anything like this. <laughs> Do you want to join them and donate to this channel that sometimes makes out of blue things like this? Go for that. I should probably make a disclaimer. I don't know for a fact that I am the first person in history to think of this idea. Maybe somebody else did it before me, but maybe I didn't invent it for the first time. But I mean, I made it and you can too. Anyway, have fun. Bye. <laughs>